Hi there. Okay, so today's video, I wanted to show you guys all how to do a really crisp, brightly colored lip. So a lot of you have been saying that we purchased some of the brighter colors, even having a little bit of a hard time getting like a really good, clean edge uh, lip with some of the brighter, more richly pigmented colors. So I want to do a video for you guys today so that uh, this will help you out. So a little tip trick for doing a bright colored lip. So today I'm actually going to do a really fun lip color. So I did this really fun eyeshadow palette called, uh, I'm going to call it Volcano, which is pink hibiscus, uh, orange lava and onyx. I think it turned out gorgeous, but I want like a red poppy fun lip to go with it. So I actually am mixing, um, blue red with salmon. So I'll show you these two colors here. So I have pre-mixed blue, red, and salmon to make this super fun, bright red, little bit of a shimmer color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our lip scents on just like we normally would, okay? Doing with the three layers, thin layers, not a lot of back and forth. So we're just gonna start with doing that. Now with these more richly pigmented colors, you definitely have to be a little bit more diligent when you're putting them on, as opposed to like the lighter shimmer colors. And you always wanna make sure you get the insides of your lips right here really well. Okay, and I usually like to just drag, slowly drag in one direction and come back and drag the other direction around the bottom edge of my lip of where I feel like it is. And then just kind of look in the mirror and make sure that you're even, generally speaking. And then make sure you get your waterline, which is the inside of your lip when you like, like lick your mouth like that. That's like considered your waterline for your lips. So you're gonna let that dry. And when you have these more highly pigmented colors, you might have to let it dry just a little bit longer than you would some of the other colors. Oh my God, how fun is this color, you guys? It's so bright. Digging it. Okay, got a little much right there on the corner. So I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit. Okay. Ooh, what do you guys think? Oh, I am digging that color. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry. And then what we're gonna do, see like how I have like a little bit right there, and like right here, right? So you're gonna get like a really good crisp line, right? So there's a couple of things that you can do. You can go back with concealer 
and clean that up. But yeah, it really just kind of covers it up. So the other thing that you can do is take your oops remover. So this is another really important reason why people, sorry, my lips are gonna sit together, are always going to try and sell you this, is right here. So you're gonna pull this out, take the wand. You're gonna take like a stiff brush like this. Uh, you can use like one of these. You can use uh, a Q-tip if you want, like a really pointed Q-tip. You're gonna pull this out, you're gonna touch it to this. Get a little bit of that product on there. And then you're going. To drag that right there. Okay, you can clean that up a little bit. And then, if you wanna get a really crisp look, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little bit, you can use your foundation, you can use your concealer, you can use a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, I'm wearing tinted moisturizer today, I'm not wearing like a foundation, so I'm gonna take a little bit of our concealer in light, looks like this. And I'm gonna take that same brush, I cleaned it off, wiped all that product off of there, okay? And I'm gonna dip it. And this is gonna give you a crisper line. And just flicking away to blend it. It's important to do this before you gloss it because your concealer or your foundation will actually stick to that product and help create that line. If you already lost it, it's not gonna stick to it. And you're just gonna have like smeared concealer. All right, and you see how that just really crisps and gets that just perfect. All right, I'm gonna come through with some gloss. I'm gonna have gloss over here somewhere. Let's see, this is Orchid Gloss. Looks kinda like this. All right, you gloss and you're all done. Easy peasy guys. If you have any questions, hit me up um, and hopefully you found this to be helpful um, in getting a really crisp, clean, uh, highly pigmented lip. Love you guys.